Welcome back, Acron fans, to the Christmas Tournament cast, Day 2. This is the last game for today. And it will be between Haiku and Trillion Eyes. This is the last group to be done for the first round of the Losers Bracket. Whoever wins this is going to be facing Vermind, and whoever loses will be out of the tournament, as this is a double elimination tournament. So, we saw today Jerakun and Rockmox. Rockmox being Jerakun in a very long, drawn-out game. Electro vs. Sakhanov and Electro vs. Shalka, where Electro won the first match with a good rush, but lost against Shalka. Probably an unfamiliar territory, really. Cold Forge is an odd map, and he was not playing CISO, which he's been playing thus far. Electro decided to play Grekum instead. And now we'll see Haiku vs. Trillion Eyes. The winner of that will be fighting Vermind in order to progress, try to get back into the game, or into the tournament. So let us get started. So we're on hills once again. Haiku in the east side of the map. Trillion Eyes in the west side of the map. Haiku is not has not chosen his race yet. Trillion Eyes has chosen chosen Grekim. If that means you're commentating, you tend to make up words. But Trillion Eyes, she has gone for Grekim. She's moving her Arcticus forward. Looks like she's trying to secure that expansion down there rather than tanking out the entrance on the east side of her base. While Haiku is going for Grekim as well. So another Grekim mirror on hills. So, given historically how this map goes, I expect a base trade within the first five minutes, and then I don't know what. Actually, Trillian Eyes, I'm not really sure what she's going to be doing. So, that's a bit of a wild card. But, yes, I do expect kind of a base trade or something. That's probably what's going to happen. At some point. Right now, Haiku's setting himself up about 30 seconds down from Trillian Eyes. Trillian Eyes has her RPs set up. And from there, we will have... Looks like actually Trillion Eyes is going for a little walk. Not a bad idea. Grekum tends to benefit from that. Haiku, on the other hand, not going for a walk with his RPs. Actually, Grekum used to benefit from that. Nowadays, I'm not sure. I really don't know, because the economy having been slowed down like it has, the walking tactic for speeding up expansions worked really well in version 1.2. But in version 1.3, I don't think it's nearly as powerful just because you don't have to build RPs as frequently. Haiku, on the other hand, staying in his main base and getting a couple of options up for defense. Not sure if he just hasn't... Oh, he just failed to build RPs in them, but still not a, get, not a bad idea. Trillion Eyes is not going for an all-in, but still a good idea. Trillion Eyes still has one scouting Octo coming in, dealing some damage, and Haiku will definitely be prepared by the time that happens. So, Haiku, no worries there. Just need to wait for the time waves to come along and carry that forward. While Trillion Eyes... Trillion Eyes set up in her natural, and actually this is a more defensible position than her main base. It's not a terribly bad idea. And what else is there? Not much. She hasn't set up any more economy in that natural expansion. She doesn't have the money which to do so. So really it's just a matter of her waiting to get enough money to get more money. While Haiku has gotten himself a couple Octos he needs for building up, he doesn't have he has the resources to build more, but he hasn't actually gone and done so yet. There's that next Octo. Trillion Eyes' Octo here, that's what we're seeing before, that was doing some attacking. That will be held off decently well. And... Oh, is Haiku... Haiku's setting up for more of a triad, so he's really focused on getting that quicker tech, not on defense. And at this point, he probably is pretty secure that Trillion Eyes is not attacking him. Other than that scouting Octo, he is right. Actually, come to think of it, including that scouting Octo, where is that... Yeah, the scouting Octo is being used for resources, so Trillion Eyes having echoed that out means that Haiku can really just go for this Reef. Like this, this Octo is going to be gone once this Red Time comes along. So really, Trillion Eyes knows what Shalka's... Oh, sorry, knows what Haiku's up to. Doesn't know what Shalka's up to because Shalka's not playing this game, unlike last game. Thankfully, Shalka did not drag it out, so that was nice to see. But I digress. Haiku, in this case, tends not to drag out games, so we should be seeing a very exciting game once this gets going. And he's getting another Seppi for a bubble wrap. So he's definitely going for a bubble wrap. Faro should be coming up once he gets advanced structures, but he shouldn't get it yet. A couple more QPRPs, maybe another LCRP before he does that. And, oh, I'm sorry. I appear to have gotten slowed down again. What the? Ah, we're back in. Okay. Sorry about that. So we're back up to speed. Sorry about that on YouTube. I won't cut in that. I'll just... Don't worry about it. Apparently, I figured out how to fix it. Hooray! 
Here we go. Taiku is getting up to those two RPs I mentioned, getting a Faro as well. He's going to be getting advanced structure soon from the looks of it. That Faro, not likely to be used for defense. Trillion Eyes, on the other hand, where is her reef? It is not around here. Her reef has gone off elsewhere. Or elsewhen. She has not built one yet. She has an Octopod, though, and that is good. But Haiku's not going for heavy attack right now. He's going for... Well, clearly going for air. He's got the Spire... Got the Spire Faro, so I've got Octopod for defense as well. But once these reefs decide to build advanced structures, once he gets another RP on QP, really, then he'll be solid. And Trillion Eyes actually has a slight economic advantage at this point, having four LCRPs and one QPRP to three LCRPs and, four, and one QPRP. And Trillion Eyes' setup will last longer if she doesn't get attacked. Now walking her... Well, now it's four units, two Seppies, Faro, and Octo. Walking those forward once again, looks like she might be going for a proxy, actually. Now getting another reef, but definitely is doing a crawl... Oh, no, not another reef, sorry. Getting a reef. Walking that triad even further over. Though... Needs a Spire, but doesn't have advanced structures anyway. Getting another Octopod, and that... Hmm, so really she's just crawling in slowly but surely towards Haiku. While Haiku has a bubble wrap set up, but outside of his main base has no presence. So Trillion Eyes has much more map presence, not sure what map control. It's difficult to tell with Grekum, but definitely more presence. And sending Octopods out, suspecting that Haiku has expanded here, but won't be finding anything. Haiku has... Haiku appears to be trying to secure his northeast base, not his natural and not building up much though. He doesn't have a lot of resources, not a lot of resource income for that. He could build up another RP now and he's not doing that, getting an Octopod instead for defense. So right now Trillion Eyes has an economic advantage but it's very minor. She does not have advanced structures and Haiku is getting it at five minute mark. So once he gets that built up, he will be able to get a Spire and get air units. And Trillion Eyes is in a much better position to make use of air units actually, or actually build air units I should say. But Haiku is going for it, and once he gets that, we're about him right when it starts, so in 40 seconds he'll have it. He can use this Faro to build a Spire, and then from there he'll be good. Trillion Eyes' Octopod has decided not to attack the Natural Expansion, by the way. Probably scouted that there's nothing there. And Trillion Eyes jumping forward to the 6 minute mark, finding an Octopod attacking her base from behind. She'll have to go and defend for that, but she has an Octopod for which to defend. And another Octopod in her triad will be able to defend that if needed. And Haiku, like I said, does not have a lot of QPRP, so he can't build much with advanced structures. I'm surprised he got it. Unless he's planning on going for some domes, I don't see why he went for it. And now Trillion Eyes has actually gone for this attack. So Trillion Eyes trying to stop almost intercept an Octo that was going to build RPs. Losing to the Octopod, having been distracted by fighting that Octo off. And... Really, Trillion Eyes is not developing that quickly. Haiku has much more going for him at the moment. And... Okay, let's double check here what's going on here. So Haiku... Ah, he's getting attacked preemptively by Trillion Eyes. Trillion Eyes running up with the Octopod, but not stopping that... Really, the Octo is the big one, because that will keep Haiku down for economy. While Faro actually coming around, looks like going for scouting and possibly a small harassment attack. And Trillion Eyes, there we go. Now she's getting advanced structures. Could use another QPRP, either move this one over to QP or just get another one. Probably move this one. And then from there she should be fine getting Faropods. But she's not doing that. She is instead going for this attack and... Oh, and actually intercepting this Octopod, or not. She would have intercepted it had she fought it, but she chose against it. And it looks like Haiku is not actually going for moving forward with his Octo either, so he's not expanding with the Octo. Still behind an the economy then, so Trillion Eyes maintains her economic advantage, but getting harassed by a Faro with no defenses nearby might be problematic. Octopod... Oh, where's the Octopod assault? So, Octopod's coming back here, and Haiku will eventually fight both of these Octopods at once, if he does fight the Octopods at all, and that will of course not go very well for Haiku, because Octopods are Octopods. It's kind of even. Reef also moving forward to help heal up, so Trillion Eyes continuing her slow but steady push towards the center of the map, while Faro's this is the harassment we saw before. I'm a little bit surprised she hasn't at least sent something to defend against it, but it's a little bit hard to move back there. So it looks like she's trying her best to just take the center of the map and continue pushing forward slowly, while Haiku almost has enough Q-Plasma for a Sepipod. But I'm not sure what he's going to be doing with that. He's going to have to build a Spire. There he goes. There's that Spire. And then from there, he'll be probably building Sepipods because he won't get enough resources for Firepods for a while unless he decides to get more QPRPs. And there's Seppi's for defense against the Faro. Not the best choice of defense, but Faro also helping out, so that will work. 
standing up to help out and defend that. Very useful. One of the nice things about having a triad, you can just get those units out of triad mode and use them to defend. And the Sebi actually survives. Nice. The Reef, taking the center of the map, so Trillianas has managed to push itself towards the center of the map while keeping some defenses everywhere else. So this is quite nice for Trillianas. Haiku, on the other hand, has slightly safer resources and getting another QPRP. So actually, he could start building Sebi pods and maybe even Fire pods fairly soon. Sorry, not another QPRP. Moving his LCRP over to QP. However, he is actually getting this Octopod around. Wow, this Octopod's completely evading any sort of detection, so Trillianas might be aware of what's going on, but she may not be paying attention to it. No, she is paying attention to it, definitely paying attention. And trying to move her Octopods back for defense, but that Octopod will be able to kill off that Sepi before anything else comes in to help defend. An Octopod coming in as well, but that will also go down. But it should buy enough time for the Octopods here to finish it off, and yes it does! So Haiku losing that Octopod, also losing a Faro at the same time in the top left corner of the map. So Haiku really falling behind. If he gets a Sebi pod, he'll be in a great spot. It looks like he's saving up for a Faro pod, though, and that will also be useful. Trillian is having no Spire, but also having... She has advanced structure, she needs a Spire. If she gets a Spire, she can very quickly build up a Sebi pod, and then from there, she can very quickly just get up. I mean, and I mean very quickly. She has an Octo, she has a Faro. Put them into Progen mode, get a Spire next to them, Sebi pod up, you're done. She also Sebi and Faro up here, which she is putting into Progen mode, likely to build more RPs, and she has tons of money with which to do so. So it's a good idea, build the RPs, build up a Spire, build up some good anti-air forces. Well, get a build of a Sebi pod, because a Faro pod, like I said, is coming. It's right there. We'll be coming, we'll be cloaked. Faros will help be able... It'll help, but it's not going to be enough. The Faros will not survive long enough. And the Octopods... The Octopod will be the first thing to find it, and it will be going... It will likely be going down. That Faro pod's going to cloak any time now. Actually, Haiku looks like he's going back and cloaking it now. So, that will be... That will be very difficult for Trillian Eyes to deal with. But Trillian Eyes is expanding, as I mentioned. She is getting more RPs up, and... Good idea, by the way, expanding under the cover of an assault. It's a very good idea, except for the fact that these Octopods are going to have a very hard time dealing with the Faropod. The Faropod actually getting detected, and it won't be able to go down before that Faro dies. No, it will! The last few shots going in, finishing off the Faropod, so Haiku losing that Faropod. This is really quite exciting. Not sure who's going to win, but it looks like the Faropod retreating back will be able to survive. Even Sepipods wouldn't be able to deal with this. Just having Sepipods would allow Trillian Eyes to maintain map control, because right now she has lost it. She has no way of protecting force across the map. She needs to retreat, she needs to just not to avoid this battle entirely. Or move far enough out of the way and keep her units out of the way so that she can kill off this Faropod without the reefs healing it up. But that is not happening apparently. Ha Haiku is going to... He's going to have an advantage back. If he finds his expansion, then Trillian Eyes hasn't much of a chance. But if Trillian Eyes manages to maintain that and build it up and continue an economic advantage and then build up a Spire from here and build up Sepi Pods, then she'll be fine. Oh, she can do. She can afford it, but she doesn't have the chrono energy for it quite yet. She's still in the unplayable past. And that's going to be tough. No orders yet, but she can still get him. She's fast forwarding. She, however, cannot fight off this fire pod right now. Trying her best, but really cannot. Does have view vision in the center of the map. Does have a reef there as well. But needs a spire in her main base. Needs to get fire pods up as soon as possible, which is now. She can't, I don't think she can do it any sooner. And Farapod getting rid of one of her Octopods, that is an expensive mistake. She needs, she does desperately need to get Sebi Paws. I do not know why she's not doing so. Another Farapod build up for Haiku. This is going to be difficult. I don't think Trillian Eyes can get away with this, with not building Sebi Pods any longer. And no, more Faro is coming up. That Faro might be for Aspire. That's the only reason I can see building that up. But right now, there is nothing going for her, and really, these options could, probably could just become RPs. There's nothing else they can do right now. So the Faropods coming around, attacking the center of the map. Faro and Octopod trying to defend, but not going to be able to do too well. And that's it for protection. Trillian Eyes focusing on this again. Will be moving the Faro back far enough that it will, should survive, but... Even with that, even with that Reef defense there, Aspire being built up finally. And now Sepipod must be built. There's no way out of this other than Sepipods. But losing that Sparrow again, because I think Sparrows are generally going to be the targets for Faro Pods, just because of the weaker units. Another Faro coming in the main base, and Sebi Pods finally being built. So Trillian Eyes might be able to get out of this. Sebi Pods might not have been built too late, but Haiku... Haiku does not have an economic advantage. Trillian Eyes has the economic advantage. That is the one thing she has going for her. She's had all game. It is an economic advantage of about 3 RPs, which is quite a lot, actually. Even with her harassment, it's still going to be an advantage. And... 
Haiku has a lot of reefs, but he's been spending a lot of money on and time on reefs. And Seppi's four reefs. And here we go, the Seppi pod. So one of the fire pods will be going down. Haiku will likely try to run it away as soon as he can. Just avoid that battle entirely. But that will mean Trillion Eyes has Seppi pods. And at this point, she should just work to contain. Try to make sure that Haiku cannot get an economic advantage. Because Haiku is turtling up hard. All those reefs, it's going to be very hard to get through without legal class, I think. Locked illegals might be able to get through it. Or just a massive army. But that's going to be tough to work with. And these Seppi pods... Looks like Haiku actually can't run away. He didn't run away his fire pod in time, so he has lost that fire pod permanently. He can build another one now, and not doing so, but why is Trillion Eyes not moving forward? And just running around the map, scouting around the map, just patrol. Use patrol orders to get around all of the different RP spots. And oh, is she doing exactly that? No, she's moving forward to get rid of that fire pod, which I think ran away. No, it didn't run away. So that fire pod is going down. Haiku might escape with it, but right now Trillion Eyes is trying to assault directly not a good idea she will not be able to deal enough damage to deal to do with deal any damage really she's not gonna be able to she might be able to kill the heavy pod with great loss herself yeah losing a heavy pod in the process which should have been an easy one-sided battle so I'm not sure Trillion Eyes knows how to handle turtling but really what she needs to do is not attack the main base for the next five minutes just build up RPs get legal class get Octoligos Get a far get far pots as well. Build up a couple of Ligos and just march in there while harassing around the map, making sure Haiku does not get any resources. That's the biggest thing she needs to do. If she can do that, she will win. If she cannot do that, she will lose. Harassing the sides of the base is also a good idea. Not all these are covered by the reefs, or they're covered by fewer reefs. So the triad cannot be assaulted, but these RPs can be assaulted. And Trillionite is getting weaponry. I don't totally agree unless she fires two PCMs at the same time or fires a Chrono Bomb at one of the reefs. If she fires a Chrono Bomb at one of the reef sections, she will be able to take out the rest of it because the healing rate will be lower. But she doesn't have Chrono Porting, so PCMs are the only real option right now. Now, if she fires off a Plasma Cruise Missile, that will be able to take out the Triad. That'll take it out in one go, which will work. Assuming that Haiku does not... Well... Yeah, I mean, the dome might be a bit of a problem for that. That might be able to fend it off. The Seppies might be able to fend it off as well. So it'll be tricky. I wouldn't... I don't really agree with this. I still think more units is the best way to go. Get, like I said, Octoligos. Octoligos will just rip everything to shreds. And here we go. Shelly actually is doing a good job. She is moving around. She is checking the expansions. She is checking the front of the base. And Haiku disconnected? What? Did Haiku actually disconnect in the main game? That's no good. Oh my. Apparently Haiku dropped out at one point during this game. Don't know if that means that Trillion Eyes wins or what? I, I'm a little bit confused. Ah, and it looks like... There we go, there's the Plasma Cruise Missile. Doing what it can with Sebi Pods trying to help support. But they are fighting a losing battle against that dome. They will not be able to kill it. However... Ah, it did! It worked! Haiku lost his triad. Haiku lost his dome. This is gonna be... This is something that Haiku can recover from. But another... Oh, that's... Sorry, that's the same one. Right. Plasma Cruise Missiles worked that way. They go back in time before hitting. So Haiku has lost his main triad and lost everything else. I think... Disconnecting as well. I don't know if he reconnects at some point, but... Trillion Eyes has basically put herself in a position where there isn't much that can be done, actually. Yeah, she apparently has just won. Wow. Well, we'll see when we actually get to the end of the game, but Haiku jumping a bit further forward. I don't know if he's going to be building up... No, he's just drifting forward. Never mind. Because he disconnected. Well, that's disappointing. I mean, it's a disappointing way to win, but it looks like Trillion Eyes... Trillion has apparently won. Well, that's basically the game. She is, yeah, dealing with damage she can, getting rid of all the RPs, and heavily damaging one of the reefs. Help distract it from healing, so the reefs are a bit split in their healing priorities, which will allow proper damage to be dealt. So actually, you know what? This PCM's worked. Nicely done, Trillion Eyes. But, frankly, I'm a little bit concerned about the correctness of this game. I've got to be honest, I 
I'm a little bit concerned that we actually saw what happened. Nope, Haiku did in fact genuinely disconnect. Yeah, Rockmox is even pointing out that Haiku has disconnected. This this is not an error. So I'm a little bit confused as to what's going on right now. If Haiku has won or lost, I mean the blue time of coming along with all the damage that destroyed Haiku is coming to the present. So Haiku has basically lost the game. But Trillian I surrendered. What in the world did I just see? No, really. Trillian Eyes won that game. Why did she surrender? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm terribly sorry about that. Rockmox is pointing out that this is a game that happened originally that Haiku disconnected from, that's, thus they had to redo it, and no one uploaded the correct replay. <sighs> this is why when I arrange tournaments, I have people email me the replays, because that way I don't have to worry about any of this stuff. So I apologize, everybody, for wasting your time, ultimately. I I suppose I'll have to cast that game, but I, I'm i going to be done for now. I apologize for that. I will be casting tomorrow, probably around 2 p.m. or so PST, and so you can join me then. But until then, everybody, good night, and thank you for watching.